Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In today's video, we'll discuss dynamic tags. Now this is Elementor Pro beginner guide. So if you're absolutely new to Elementor Pro, you can watch this video. And this is actually part two of Elementor Pro beginner guide. In the first part, we discussed about Elementor Pro theme builder conditions and how you can use them with full power. In this, we'll discuss the dynamic tags feature of Elementor Pro. If you're absolutely new to Elementor or if you want to watch and learn each and everything about Elementor, you can head over to Elementor Basics playlist on the channel. All the information is clearly organized. You can watch all the videos on and learn a lot about Elementor. Now let's discuss about the dynamic tags in today's video. So what are these dynamic tags and how can you use them? Now I have a header designed here. So I'll just click on add section. I just want to display the name of the user whoever logs in to my website right in my header. Well, I can simply do that. Now the way dynamic tags work is that they work with any widget that has these dynamic fields. So let's say I just drag in a heading widget and I change the HTML tag to div. Now the I can align it onto the right and instead of having a static piece of text, I see this dynamic button and when I hover over it, it shows that those are dynamic tags available for that particular piece of text. I just click on that and I just want to display the name of the user who logs in to my site. So I'll scroll down. Let's see if there's any other dynamic tag that we can use. So I can actually show him the current date and time. I can also give user information. Now I just want to show him or I just want to show the first name of the user who logs into my site. So I'll just pick user information from the dynamic tag, click on first name or so whatever. Or if you want to show the username itself, just click on username and that will be shown there. Now I just want a piece of text below this or uh, before this. So how can you do that? Click on advanced and before you just type in the static text that you want. So I just typed in welcome back and you can see that the text is available here. Now let's add a space and just like that. This welcome back is common for all the users but this depends on the user whoever logs in. So we just chose user information and from within user information, I chose username. And I also can set a fallback in case the data fails to retrieve from the database or maybe the user is not registered. So I'll say guest as a fallback, I'll just click and update this. Now I'll click on the header. I'll click on display conditions. The conditions, I'll just set it to enter site just to show you this so i'll just save and close now let's open up any browser so i just typed in my address and you can see that it just shows guest here so i'll say welcome back guest as the default title i'll just update this again this is my site i'll update this and there's the text since i didn't log in it just shows me the fallback text which is welcome back guest if i log in well it will show me my current name let's type let's visit my site from a browser where I'm logged in and you can see that here. So it says welcome back admin and you, it's just another Elementor widget. You can style it the way you want so you can change all the typography stuff and you can maybe change the size and all that. It's still an Elementor widget but it retrieves the data from the database. It retrieves all the contextual information so that's really neat, right? And this is available in a lot of widgets, not just heading widget. So I just, I'll add another column in this section. And the second column will be not a heading widget. I'll delete the heading widget. I'll just add in an image widget here. Click and I'll just drag an image widget. Click and drag it. And the image, I just want the image to be the profile picture of the user logged in. So I'll just click on user profile picture and there's our picture. Uh, let's actually set the size. So there you have it. So whoever logs in, it'll show his information regarding that. You can simply update. Now I'll refresh my header. Now this is WordPress admin bar. You get this whenever you log in to WordPress site and there you have it. So I just get all the information regarding the user who logs in without me having to do anything. It pulls all the information 
based on the dynamic tags that we set. The beauty of these dynamic tags is that you can still have the elementary flexibility, design freedom, and then you can pull in these dynamic tags so you have a powerful combination. So let's say I just want to display the page or the title of the page or the post that the user is currently in when the header turns sticky. So let's actually add another section. It's a single section. I'll just drag this below this. So here I just want and this time I'll just have an icon list but not any other icon list. Now the text will be the title of the page or the post. So I'll set click on dynamic tag, scroll down and there's called there's something called post title. Now this refers to the general post title. So it will show even the page title or even the custom post title and if you're a in Elementor interface, it will also show the template title. So post refers to a generic post, but not the post in WordPress. So it can be a post, it can be a page, it can be a custom post. So I'll just click on this and the icon will be, let's maybe set it to something interesting. So something like that. And you can see it already sets the title of my post here, but we'll preview this in our actual post and you can also add a link again this can also be set to dynamic tag click here you can set it to post url or you can maybe set it to anything else or maybe you can set it to archive url anything that you want but anyway we'll just leave it as is so the title of the icon list widget which has a single icon is the post title and the icon is a static icon so it doesn't matter let's style it a bit let's also add a space between this let's align it there let's increase the size of the icon let's maybe change the color let's do the same with the text color so I'll maybe set a different color to my text Let's change the hover color to this. So just like that. Let's also change the size of the text a bit. I think that looks neat. I'll leave it as is. So I'll update this. I'll also make this whole section sticky. So I'll just click on advanced. Again, this is a feature of Elementor Pro. Go to motion effects and I'll say sticky top and the effects offset maybe 100 or maybe 50. So this is when the effects will kick in. So if this header is also sticky, I'll just remove that. Even this is sticky. So I'll just set it to none. I'll update this. So when he scrolls through, all he sees is the title. So that's really neat. Let's see how that works in a real life scenario. So I'll open up a post. Click on post. I'll just view this post. Click on post again. Now it opens up the post. We'll see how our header will look like since we set the header to the whole page and this is our title of the post and it stays sticky on top. You can also add a background to it and do stuff like that. So it shows the user the current title of the post. Let's view that with pages. Like I told you, post title is not limited to the posts. It's also the page title. Let's view our front page. If the page is set to Elementor Canvas and there you have it, there's our page title with our sticky header. So there are a lot of applications for it and you can do quite a lot with this. Like I told you, you can take the complete design freedom and pull in dynamic data into almost all the widgets by now. So anything with a dynamic tag, just click and pull the information that you need. Now the dynamic tags also depend on the widget and the field that you're using. So let's say I have a button widget. I just dragged it into my single page layout template or single page template and let's say I have a link attribute here or link field here now this even has dynamic tags but it has slightly a bit different dynamic tags so when I click on it it will have all the tags that have URL or links to that. So it can also trigger a pop-up with this. So the dynamic tags for each of the field depend upon what kind of field it is. So for text, 
you can see that we have all the text related information so whichever is whichever data is returned as text so those will be shown for text field but for a link field it will show url archive url and all that stuff so you can actually show a pop up or a light box or a contact url let's do that so contact url maybe you can let users mail you so i'll just type in my email so when the user clicks on this link my email address is pre-filled and it'll it'll automatically take him to his particular email application let's see how that works so i've chosen contact url this button so the dynamic options are basically contact url and the type is email so when he clicks on the button i'll let him perform an action and the action is to actually email me and to email or the address at which he email he, he should email me is this so i just prefill my email there i'll update it let's see how that looks like on a current page so i'll just preview a page let's actually preview our home page itself click on view and that opens up my home page scroll down there there's our button and when i click on it it will open up my email client i'll not save it so even that way you can use the dynamic tags so they can be used in a lot of different ways again what i did was to set the url or the link option dynamically to perform an action and the action was to email with my email address and subject pre-filled message he can also type in the message from here or you can pre-fill some of the message for him i'm contacting you for something something that sort and the moment he clicks here it will open up his email client so if he's using gmail maybe if he's on uh, mobile devices it might open up his gmail or it might open up his uh, yahoo mail or whatever client he's using so that's another powerful way to use these dynamic tags just other than performing contact contextual operations or contextual information they can also do contextual tasks such as linking to a pop-up or opening up a contact url now like i said dynamic tags depend based on or, or differ from the field to field here i have an image field now if i pick the dynamic tag here you'll see a different set of dynamic options right you can pull in site logo featured image but you cannot set user url because it doesn't make sense an image cannot take url as an input so that's the reason why the dynamic tags are appropriate and accurate based on what kind of field you pick and there you can also set acf fields to you can also pull in information from advanced custom fields so let's actually do that now acf is tightly integrated into elementor pro so you can also pull in the data that you add from acf using the dynamic options so this is really powerful i just added a field group called custom image and it has only one field which is an image field so and i'm actually showing it in a post so whenever you're composing a post he can also upload a custom image from here so i'll just click on the image i'll choose an image maybe i'll choose this this is actually an svg so i'll choose that and that field can also be pulled in so i just updated that but if you view it or view the post you will not see the particular field or the image field that's because we have not set it as a part of the design and we have to set it as a part of the design by using elementor pros theme builder single and this is by post design so i'll just click on edit with elementor and in this design we need to set that acf field in order to actually display it whenever you upload it to any new page or new post in this case so once my design is loaded i'll drag in an image field under this and I'll click on dynamic tag, click on ACF image field, click on ACF image field again, choose the key and I'll choose image. And just like that, it shows the image that we picked. Now you can also style this the way you want. You can set the width and all that stuff. Update. Now if I reload this post or refresh this page and it gets the template defined in the single post and there's our ACF field different but we'll be discussing acf in separate series and separate tutorials for them are coming up so stay tuned for that so those are 
just some of the many applications and ways in which you can use dynamic tags and leverage the power of the dynamic tags to create more complex and dynamic websites rather than having just design oriented elementary specific websites you can pull in dynamic data combine that with the flexibility of elementor and design it the way you want or you can also add custom css to these dynamic tags or the fields affected by the dynamic tags and this is elementor pro beginner's guide part 2 stay tuned for part 3 and all this will be in elementor basics thank you for watching i'll talk to you in the next one peace